This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 3D space in Motion 5.1. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to add depth of field to a camera. One of the neat features that was added in a recent version of Motion is the ability to have depth of field, F6 to hide, okay? What depth of field allows me to do is to add a camera and change focus. So let's just add a camera and let's hide everything so we can see what's going on and go to the top view. Remember, when I'm controlling a camera, I always want to see top view. All right, this is the focal plane. And by definition, everything is in focus all the time, regardless of where the camera moves. Well, we can change that by going to the inspector, go to camera. The camera controls determine, for instance, what's the angle of the view? Do we want to have a wide angle lens or do we want to have a, a zoom lens? We'll just leave that set to its 45 degree amount. But the depth of field is the cool part. The focus is represented the focus is represented by this line. That's the plane of focus. When we turn depth of field on, I can say I want everything in focus starting with this line to here. Everything from that line back is out of focus. Everything from this line to the plane is in focus. Then I want to have a depth of field a little bit beyond it. So this region from the near line to the far line is now in focus. Everything else is out of focus. We can control the amount of focus by depth of field blur amount. I'm going to blur this by a huge amount so it's easy to see. If you're not seeing blur, and this caused me a problem because it's been a while since I've worked with it as I was researching this webinar, I forgot about how to do it. If you are not seeing blur, go up to the render menu and make sure depth of field is checked. It is off by default. Depth of field must be on, so we've got to turn it on. So it's now on. Let me make sure it's on. There we go. And now let's go take a look at the active camera. Look at that. This is out of focus. This is in focus. Let's go back to our camera, and we're going to add a dolly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my camera, make sure my playhead is at the very beginning, grab my camera, and I want to start with just that waterfall in focus. I'm going to add a move, camera, dolly, and using the HUD or the inspector, I'm going to determine how far I want it to dolly by grabbing the distance. That red line extending out from the front of the camera shows how far the camera is going to move in this effect. So as it dollies forward, it's going to pass focus through the entire image. Let's just back that off just a hair. There we go. Now, control A, and we're back in focus. And look at this. Our object is in focus. And now as the camera dollies forward, waterfall now between the waterfalls. And now the back waterfall is in focus. And look at how out of focus the front water. This is a flat piece of video. It looks like you're on a slider, and it looks like like you've got depth of field here that never existed in real life. Even cooler. If we go to the F5, select our video, here, video, right there, and zoom in on this thing. Look at this. Have it fill the frame. Now let's go back to here. And just drag it slightly over. There we go. We're in focus on the front waterfall. Now we're in focus in the middle, and we're going to rack focus into the back. Look at that. We're racked focus into the back. How cool is that? I mean, how cool is that? Can you not get excited about something like this? I take a flat piece of video, I pull it at an angle, I drop a camera with a depth of field on it, and all of a sudden it's like I've got deep zoom lenses or a, a DSLR camera on a location when I'm working with stock footage. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 3D space inside Motion 5.1. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 132. And thinking of training, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. 
you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than eight hundred movies, dozens of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.